magnetic cell phone holder for the car with the Sanyo 2700 cell phone. A really nice little compact cell phone. This one's used quite a bit with Boost Mobile. I'm sure there's a lot of other services out there that are using the same phone. Sanyo makes a really nice phone. There's two parts to the phone dot. The magnetic disc and the metal adapter. So what you want to first do is take your phone, turn it over on the back, take the uh, metal adapter, strip off the protective coating to the double-sided tape, and center it on the back of the phone press it for a few moments so it gets a good grip. Now if you'll notice on this phone there's two lines, one here, one here. That represents the back that actually will come off so that the battery and the SIM card can be accessed and also the serial numbers and whatnot. You don't want to go and put this adapter over those two um, lines otherwise you will uh, impede the ability to remove the cover. So uh, this fits very nicely on there. So um, also some questions that we're uh, having in the past is uh, people want to know, well, I have a really nice phone, an iPhone or a Sanyo phone like this one. Can I remove this adapter without damaging the phone or can I even get it off my phone? And the answer is yes. So to prove that, we want to show you how that's done. This is a scraper, it's plastic. You can use a plastic pancake spatula as well. The idea is to use something that is not going to scratch the phone. So what we'll do is we're going to place this um, scraper in between the adapter and the phone and use it as a prying tool. Okay, and in this particular case, it comes off clean. But if there's any residual left on the phone, just roll it off with your finger and it'll come off clean, just like this. Let's go ahead for demonstration's sake and put another adapter on there. This will demonstrate how easy it is to put a new one on and take it off. Now if you need more adapters, just go to the website, thephonedot.com, under accessories and you can buy as many as you want. Sometimes if you have more than one phone and only one car for the phone dot, you might want a couple extra ones anyway. We can go to the website to get that. So. Alright, so just take your phone with the adapter attached to it and hover over the phone dot like that. Okay? Uh, how this disc, magnetic disc, goes on your dash is simply just peel off the adhesive to the magnetic disc and place it on your dash. This box will represent that uh, disc, uh, how it goes on your dash. And you only need an inch and a half diameter space to put that on to your dash and it'll fit on any dash that has a smooth hard surface, not leather or plastic, but glass, wood, uh, anything that's a hard and smooth surface, and it won't hurt the surface. You can take it off just like we took the adapter off the phone, and the instructions for that are on the package, or go to the website for more instructions if you need more help. So you just hover, after you put the adapter on, hover over the phone dot, and it holds it. You can try to pull it off. It's so strong that this box is attached to the desk. It, it would probably rip the box if we were to pull it any, anymore. It's that strong. If you want to release it, just tilt the phone or slide the phone and it'll break the connection. You can turn it front porch with the landscape upside down if you're feeling crazy. Uh, any direction you want. Uh, that metal metallic metallic sound you hear is the how strong the magnet is on the adapter. This metal adapter is attracted to the magnetic disc and that's the sound that you're hearing. Now if you want to use this with uh, navigation, it works fine with navigation. Just set the mode to the phone for navigation and uh, you can navigate. Uh, if you want to use it with hands-free, uh, it works with Bluetooth hands-free devices. Uh, speaker phone works excellent with that. Also, if you have an older phone, you still have the plug-in earpiece that works with that as well. Won't interfere with those connections at all. Um, let's say uh, you want to use this with a uh, case, like a leather case. You can do that. This case is leather.
leather is going to snap on the front and the metal clip on the back is a belt clip. Just simply put your phone inside, snap it shut. Because there's metal composite in this clip, it actually will hold itself onto the phone dock. Just like that. You probably won't want to operate your phone that way, but let's say you're ready to get back out of the car again, you want to use it, you can use it for that. And then of course, when you're not having it in the case, it will hold it just like that. Um, let's say that you have a uh, hard shell uh, or a soft shell. Let's talk about the hard shell first. Let's pretend this is the hard shell and you want to use it with that. Just take the adapter, place it on the back, and it'll work just as if it was attached to the phone itself. But if you don't want to look at the adapter, uh, you can actually put the adapter between the hard shell and the phone. Just take the adapter, strip off the adhesive so it becomes thinner, and place it in your hard shell. Make sure that the uh, smooth edges are facing out so you don't scratch your phone. And just put a piece of scotch tape across it. It'll hold it in place. Snap your hard shell onto your phone and it'll work right through it. The phone dot is strong enough to work through it. But if it's a soft shell like this Jelly Belly style silicone, just place the adapter on first. Put the uh, shell over the top of it. And uh, the phone dot's so powerful, it'll work through this about one eighth inch uh, silicone cover, just like that. You can use it as if it didn't have a cover the same same way. So it's, it's good to use a cover because it helps protect your phone in case you drop it. And it's actually very trendy. You can get different colors, I'm sure as you well know. So there it is, the uh, phone dot, the magnetic cell phone holder used to hold the Sanyo 2700 cell phone.